we uh, had also another major important event on the 9th of March, uh, which was the launch of the ATV. So a brief snapshot of what is the ATV mission. ATV is being launched. It is getting to the station, doing an automatic rendezvous, bringing uh, the necessary cargo to the station, staying there for a boost maneuver for a period of about uh, six months, and then detaching from the station and performing a safe re-entry on the South Pacific. A few words about the ATV, and just to give the audience an impression of what class of vehicle we are talking about, uh, and the figure is an honest figure, therefore the scale is being kept the same for all the elements, and you can see it is uh, on the same uh, order of uh, um, Apollo and significantly larger than the current progress that is supplying uh, the logistic to the station uh, as of today. Uh, the data on the ATV, this is to be considered backup documentation, but anyway, it's a vehicle which is a 19-ton vehicle that has a capability up to 7 ton of cargo. It is a first. It is a first for a, n a number of performance. It is the first vehicle being completely automatic and doing the rendezvous and docking to the space station. It is the largest and most uh, powerful vehicle going to the ISS, except the shuttle, obviously. It is the vehicle that has the largest refueling capability. It is the largest garbage can, if you want, because the station is consuming and generating a, a lot of garbage that needs to be disposed. The only download system is the shuttle and Soyuz, and that's by far not enough to get rid of whatever is, is uh, generatable. So ATV is the largest eliminator of space waste, as we like to call it. And uh, it is the only spacecraft that is powerful enough to make a Delta V maneuver to deorbit the station. This was the beautiful launch that we had. Well, it was not so great weather, so we couldn't enjoy it too much, but the launch was flawless. It was a beautiful uh, launch. Uh, you see, by yourself, it was extremely cloudy, so we lost the visual contact very soon. A few words about the mission scenario of uh, uh, the ATV. Uh, first part is achieved, launched and reaching orbit. The second is also achieved, is doing all the phasing and getting to the parking orbit that would allow then to enter the crucial part of the mission, which are demo day one, this Saturday, demo day two, 31st of March, and the docking on the 3rd of April. So what are we demonstrating in these days? This is a prototype. This is the first time this vehicle uh, flies, and therefore it doesn't go straight to the station like progress does. Uh, in demo day one, we are approach the sta approaching the station uh, to a distance of 3.5 uh, kilometers, and we are making all the necessary checkouts that are, uh, 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 um, are validating the functionality of all the subsystems that are required to get us there. So once we have done that and we have the full confidence to say, fine, I can go to 3.5 kilometers uh, uh, nominally without any anomalies, then of course I have the confidence to do one step further, to go at something like 12 meters. And this is all about demo day two, where uh, the uh, ATV gets uh, until there, then it checks other system because obviously uh, on demo day one is using GPS and uh, differential GPS. In demo day two is doing visual, laser, and the other transducer, uh, other sensors that uh, uh, are performing the rendezvous and docking. And uh, once we have convinced ourselves that demo day two is a success, that uh, uh, all the equipment are working as they should, then we go to uh, um, the docking on the 3rd of April. I am quite happy to report that we had a meeting yesterday with NASA and where we gave the go-ahead for with NASA and our Russian partner, uh, I should say. So it was an ISS uh, integrated meeting where 
we gave the go-ahead for the, the Modi 1 activity because the readiness is there. So at the moment, we are crossing our finger. Saturday will be a very hot day for us because, obviously, uh, it's a premiere. And uh, we are extremely confident, but still we have to stay on our toes. And uh, that's what we are expecting. Uh, this is a little uh, drawing showing how we get to the, from the launch to the phasing to the parking orbit. This is the various points we are visiting for Demo Day 1, Demo Day 2, and the docking. And you can see the various dots are uh, corresponding to different Demo Days. So again, three and a half kilometers, as I said, for Demo Day 1, 12 meter for Demo Day 2, and uh, zero meter because it is docking for uh, Demo Day 3, which is actual docking day. So with the ESA, the launch of Columbus, uh, we have now a permanent outpost in space. This is just like having our real estate on orbit. In the past, we were guests. Now, we own land. And that mean a lot of difference for us. We are, of course, co-owner. We, no, we don't think that we own the space station. We know part of it, and we are quite happy with, the part, with uh, the, uh, owning that part. Uh, what is ahead of us? Ahead of us, we have the successful docking of ATV in early April, as I have mentioned. I have the com we have the completion of the Columbus commissioning, and you have the completion of the ATV mission with the safe disposal in August. What have we demonstrated uh, with this recent three launch? Well, we like to say that we are not successful because we are lucky. Uh, we are successful because we have primarily an industry which is competent and organized. This is all about success. If you are not competent and organized, then lucky is not good enough. You need some luck. We had it. We had also some rough day. But what we have achieved, most of all, is that we have qualified the capability of our industry to develop and operate complex and heavy manned space infrastructure. And we have qualified our industry by mastering the automatic rendezvous and docking technology. Those are the main objectives that of our program. Now we have, of course, the objective of the exploitation. Now we have qualified our industry. Now we have quite qualified our capability, now we have to be able to use it to develop and enhance it. And that's what is ahead of us, an extremely exciting challenge. And we are l looking forward to meet the demand of this challenge. Thank you very much for your attention.